Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Thursday, August the 11th, 2022, and I have a neat trick that I want to share with you. I'm working on the firewall of my Nova right here, and you can see that I have a patch panel that I'm trying to create and go into this location right here that's going to connect my transmission tunnel to my doghouse, to my firewall, to my tow board. And you can see that it's a very unusually shaped uh, panel that's going to go in there. So I'm trying to create something that is perfectly going to slide into that location. Here's the easiest way that I have found to do this. If you have a look over here on this side, you'll notice that I've put two inch masking tape all across here and I've done a piece going vertically here and here just to hold all of that masking tape together. This is so easy it's just crazy. On the inside of the car if we were to have a look over here you'll notice that I've just taken a sharpie and I've drawn lines and traced out the inside on the sticky side of the tape right there right. So after you do that basically all you're going to create is a piece like this. You can see my blue lines on there. You take this, you cut it out with a pair of scissors, and then take your template and stick it onto some flat sheet metal, at which time you cut out your panel and you get an absolutely perfect fit. Let me show you what I mean. This thing is ultimately going to fit into the car just absolutely like a glove. Notice how tight that edge is down there. Well, I say that, but there's a little bit of a gap, but totally okay, I'll fill that up with some weld. And at the end of the day, there we go. Perfect little panel. I tack welded a nail in place so that I had something to hold on to. But anyways, that is my neat little trick I wanted to share with you guys real quick about how you can use masking tape to create templates. Hope that helps you guys. Have a good one.